Hi folks, Mark Armitage here coming to you from my microscope laboratory and I've got something really cool uh, and fun to show you today. You know, I've had to resist talking about a lot of the things in the news lately. Uh, the Pope uh, saying that Donald Trump wasn't a Christian. Oh my gosh, who has the right to tell somebody they're not a Christian other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself? Come on, come on. Uh, just so many things in the news. All this uh, brouhaha surrounding the passing of Anton Scalia. I, I mean, can't we just mourn the passing of this guy? Anyway, I'm not going to get into it, but I've been tempted to talk about so many of these things that are going on, that are still going on. But one thing is clear, and that is that free speech, free speech is still hanging on by a thread in this country. And uh, as long as it does hang on, as long as I'm able, I will talk about soft tissue and dinosaur bones and other phenomena that show the earth to be young and I'm going to show you one today which is really cool. And so we're going to examine this highly polished piece of petrified wood under the fluorescent microscope. We're going to hit it with UV light and see if there are any tissues, any proteins left over that still respond to the UV light by glowing and they should glow if they're still there. I will continue to talk about how the earth must be young and therefore uh, the Garden of Eden was a real place that God put on the earth and that Adam and Eve were our real ancestors, our real first parents who sinned. They turned away from God and God punished them through death, uh, not just physical death, but spiritual death, eternal death, eternal separation from God. And, and so that's why Jesus Christ had to come, to pay that price that I couldn't pay, that you could not pay, to free us from the snare of death and the snare of sin, and to wash us clean with his blood so that we could get in to heaven for eternity. That's the purpose of this channel. That's why I resist talking about all these issues, the election issues, just everything that's going on, the emails. I mean, come on. Uh, I'm so tempted to, but I cannot. This has to be a clear beacon of information showing that the earth is young. And I'm going to show you something really cool today. Uh, I was playing around with my fluorescent, one of my fluorescent microscopes with a piece of petrified uh, wood. Now you've seen petrified wood. Uh, this is available all over Arizona and really in many shops uh, everywhere, rock shops certainly around the country. And you can buy these polished, highly polished uh, pieces of petrified wood uh, really anywhere. And I decided to examine one, and I have done this before, but I thought, you know, I've never done this with autofluorescence. You know I've done some things with autofluorescence, and that is the ability of tissues, uh, animal tissues and plant tissues, particularly plant tissues, to respond to ultraviolet and other kinds of light. And so here I have a fluorescent microscope with a vertical illuminator uh, that puts ultraviolet light into this polished specimen of wood, of wood, uh, which we now see as rock. I mean, you know, it's hard rock. And uh, yet it came from wood. And I'm going to show you some photographs. Uh, right here now are some photographs of some of these beautiful tissues. Now you are looking at high resolution pictures taken through the fluorescent microscope. We're hitting this with high amounts of UV light. And look at it, it's glowing. All the orange colors, those are the cell walls from the cells. And the internal contents are glowing green, which means that there are still original proteins inside this petrified wood. How can this be? This means that this could not have formed over millions of years. It formed very rapidly and probably not so long ago because it still has original proteins inside of it. And so you see the stunning preservation of these tissues uh, with the cell walls preserved and with some of the internal cellular co uh, components also preserved. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to show you a video now. So here is live video then as we go over the surface of this petrified wood uh, looking down into the polished section. And we see all kinds of structure. These are all uh, cells and cellular components that are glowing. They are autofluorescing 
in response to the UV light that's being shot at them. Uh, now, it does not look the same color-wise that the static high-resolution photographs do because uh, when you sit there and take a photograph of one field of view for a long period of time, all the different colors come out and the camera captures those. So this is a little different because it's moving quickly. Nevertheless, we have all kinds of structure throughout this piece of petrified wood, which is amazing. And so in that video, you can see all of these tissues preserved so quickly, so instantaneously, geologically speaking, that how, how can this be? How can these things form slowly over millions of years? It's not it's not true. These things form so rapidly, so suddenly, probably in the flood, that even the tissues within the plant cell walls of this now hardened rock are preserved and are still reacting to UV light. You might say, well, Mark, all rocks will autofluoresce with a structure that might look like plant tissue under a fluorescent microscope. Well, that's not necessarily true. Here's a piece of mica. It is autofluorescing, but it does not have the kind of structure that we saw in the petrified wood. Here's a piece of coral. Again, no cellular structure. It is autofluorescing, as is this piece of granite, but no cellular structure. And so what does this mean? This means yet another example in the many examples that we have. Not just soft tissue in dinosaur bones, but polonium radio halos. And uh, we're going to do some, some uh, videos on radio halos. On uh, the zircons that are found in deep, deep core granites, uh, which still have up to 60% of the original helium uh, produced there as a result of radioactive decay, still in the zircon, still in the rocks. And that diffusion rate, we know that diffusion rate. And so we're going to talk about zircons. We're going to talk about radio halos. You know, I found radio halos in a beautiful clear diamond. We'll talk about that. And so there are many, many, many strong evidences for a young earth that we can use uh, to shock people into realizing that this earth is young and that therefore the Bible is true. The book of Genesis is an accurate book of history and we need Jesus Christ as a result of what happened there. The first parents, Adam and Eve, who were created by God's hand, turned away from God. They turned their back on God and they thought they knew better and they ate from a tree that they were told, don't eat from that tree. It says their eyes were open, <clears throat> they saw evil from good, they became ashamed uh, of their condition and, uh, and as a result, they died, not just physically, but they died spiritually. They were separated from God. They were driven out of the garden and uh, <clears throat> made to stay away from there so they were out of fellowship with God. That's our condition today. Every one of us is out of fellowship with God unless we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ and allow ourselves to be washed in His blood, made clean by His sacrifice. It's an awesome thing to be free of your sin and seen as perfect in the eyes of God because of the sacrifice of Jesus. I hope you'll join me. I hope you'll join me in taking Jesus as your Savior, surrendering, surrendering, sorry, surrendering your life to Him so that He can wash you clean, make you a new creature, a new creation, think differently, act differently, have a different hope in your heart for the life here that you're living now and the life to come. So I hope that you'll join me uh, as I have done in doing that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Pray for this work and this ministry. If you could support us financially, that'd be awesome. Bye for now.